Hey guys, welcome to a new series I'm doing called Percussion in the News, which is where I'm going through this awesome binder full of vintage drum uh, news ads and articles and clips that uh, my friend Jerry Ryman has sent over to me. And this thing is just a gold mine of um, vintage drum related uh, news content that he's he's kind of put together from different archives. Today's episode is going to be all about Ludwig drums to kind of go along with the recent episode I did with Uli Salazar on the podcast about the Ludwig Superphonic and um, that whole history, which we learned a lot about. Um, I want to keep these kind of short, so let's jump in here. This first kind of newspaper clipping is from uh, the Chicago Tribune in 1921, and this one says, Give the boy a Ludwig drum, it says professional models specially priced for the holidays. You can get a snare for six bucks back then, which with the price conversion, that actually works out to be like ninety six dollars, basically a hundred bucks, which a uh, pretty good deal. But that's kind of what you'd expect today. But it says they basically have the same quality and the same capskin head as you would uh, expect from any Ludwig drum. And then it says the Ludwig drum is a great aid in training the boy's sense of music and will develop Ambition to become a musician, now a profitable profession. So in 1921, it finally became a <laughs> profitable job. So it says then to come see it at your nearest dealer or at our big plant. Come in today. This one's cool, too, because it says Ludwig and Ludwig. Uh, this is 1615 North Lincoln Street in Chicago. It says easy to learn and play with a phonograph. Now let's jump forward a little bit and kind of look at these. Uh, this one is from Lacrosse Tribune in um, 1923 in uh, Wisconsin. I love the top of this, this just design, and it says Ludwig Juvenile um, Trap Drums is what this is basically selling. So uh, this one I, w I wanted to read because it's kind of neat, just the wording of it. Trap drum outfits for the young folks and the home orchestra. A trap drum outfit is necessary to complete the now popular home and school orchestra. So I guess there was home orchestras then. They are easy to play and ideal for accompaniment and practice with piano and phonograph. Uh, simply great for the young folks and for the dances at home or parties and entertainment. So that's pretty neat. It says Ludwig Juvenile Kit is $20, which in 1923 was about $380. So you can see that the kind of home outfit, the bigger one, the more adult one, I guess, is like 40 bucks. So that would be about 600 And then um, below that, it says other outfits, 66 and 96 and up. And that just gets into the like now what would be $1,000 plus. Um, so Fred Lethold Piano Co. in uh, Wisconsin is running this ad to advertise to drummers, which 1923, we're still in that kind of trap drummer heyday. Um, so it's pretty cool to see that. The next one we're going to look at is um, from Joplin, Missouri. And I picked this one from 1925 because it's just kind of a neat, you know, old school way of looking at things where it says, play yourself into popularity. The young man or girl who can play some kind of instrument will never want for the right kind of friends. Just now we have... Many extraordinary bargains in used and shop-worn instruments. Not sure what shop-worn means. Um, I guess that's maybe like, you know, open box or played in the shop or something like that. This is neat, too, because in 1925, it says the young man or girl, which uh, most of the ones that are just drum related, not trumpet and saxophone and all the stuff on here. The drum related ads are pretty much all talking to boys like it's a boys thing to do. Looking down at the bottom, it has Tango Trap Drum Outfits, which are Ludwig, and we're around $57.50, which in today's money is uh, $949. I don't know. You, these, you, when, you, when you do the comparison like that, these all end up being about kind of what you pay nowadays for like a, you know, a, a good drum set. Um, that is a cool one. And then let's wrap up here with one more. Let's look at the 1927 little ad from the Chicago Tribune. It says, who wouldn't want to be a drummer? Ludwig professional outfits for $57.50. When you hear a band, do you keep time with your foot? Do you tap with your fingers? You've often wanted to be a drummer? Then here's an ideal outfit to possess. Made for professionals, but priced within reach of all. Outfits consist of Ludwig bass drum, all metal snare drum with the bead, as we can see in the picture there, um, and stand, junior pedal, brass pedal symbol, Chinese crash symbol and holder, and one pair of hickory sticks and an instruction book. So kind of cool to see it's a Chinese crash symbol because um, you don't see crash symbol written too much. So again, 5750. I mean, if I'm not mistaken, I think that is kind of near a thousand dollars at that point in time. So not the cheapest thing in the world, but but really high quality stuff. So um, that'll do it for these Ludwig uh, newspaper clippings from the 1920s. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Percussion in the News. Again, thank you to my 
friend Jerry Ryman, who put together this incredible, um, just awesome book full of vintage ads and all kinds of stuff. So I'm going to do a lot of these. Um, so anyway, subscribe, like the video and uh, comment below what you think about it and some brands that you'd want to hear about in the future, because there's a ton of them in this binder and I appreciate you watching.